Good morning. I'd like to discuss a few salient points to my green stock tomato factory. Put in these green stock towers uh, back in November and uh, they've been doing well. And since about March, it's just, uh, I put on these rings, which is the uh, green stock rings. And then in April, I added these verticals I tied on, which is a uh, plastic with a wire inside, six foot pole. And I tied it on to, I've woven it in between these tower rings and tied it so that I can extend the rings essentially right up to within a foot of the ceiling. And as you can see, my tomatoes are growing right up into the ceiling. And there's lots of fruit on it. And let's investigate that a little more. So, first thing to note is that once the tomato pushes up into the ceiling, I cut it off. I cut it back about here. And then, uh, as you can see, I've done it once already. And, uh, and then root it. And then I, after about a week, it develops roots. And then I just plant it and I've got this fantastic tomato plant. Now you can see, as I'm following this stalk back, it's going back, back, back. And here it forks. This fork, let's follow this fork back for a uh, continue. This is another fork, which goes, got a bunch of fruit on it, ready to go. And it was going vertical too, so I chopped it off. Now, oh, and here you can see right there, up towards the ceiling. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of fruit. Right at the moment, there's about 42 ripe cherry tomatoes ready to pick. And uh, <clears throat> for the last, since March, for the last three months, every week on average, I'm getting several dozen, two to four dozen tomatoes to pick. Um, and I've been able to keep the tops in check by pruning out the tops. And uh, so that's one important point. <clears throat> the other important point is that um, in terms of pruning, I prune off leaves that start to fade or curl or uh, wither, like this one in here. It's not looking that great. It's turning yellow, so I'll be pruning that shortly. But what I did not prune, I did not prune the suckers. And the reason is because I don't have unlimited top growth because I top it. So the suckers actually, once it's topped, they grow out and develop whole new branches which go in all directions. So let's just trace this one back. So that's a sucker off of this guy. And yeah, there's another sucker that's developed up this way. You can see the fruit on this, this one, continue on. So there's a little tiny sucker that's getting ready to go. There's another sucker here that's developed up and it's getting ready to fruit. And the main branch Again, more fruit. And there's another sucker in there that's getting ready to go. I just track this up. Main branch, here's another sucker. Here's another fruit cluster. So the main branch has got a lot of fruit on it, but 
it's gonna it's gonna be hitting the ceiling this week so I'll top it and then growth will go into the other side so basically I water about every week fertilize every three to four weeks and uh, I just get a continuous flow of uh, ripe fruit ripening fruit and flowers as you can see right here up near the top um, so I go down I've also got Swiss chard in the background so I've got here's a Roma different plant its uh, base is there it's come up this one hasn't gone I don't know if that's uh, determined or not but uh, so it's got a few Romas on it that are developing and a few leaves with suckers but as I look below a bunch of new leaves coming off these new suckers there's my tower and you can see the rings have been good but they're not wide enough to support all the growth and they're not tall enough that's why I had to add on these extensions so green stock might want to consider some sort of a vertical thing that they can weave in that goes much higher because when you do so you end up with a much better position so that's about it ripening fruit bunches of flowers developing off of new suckers from plants that have been in since November and uh, this should just go on and on for months and months without getting too tall and if it gets too bushy I just pull out some leaves and if it just gets too leggy I can just cut out a whole plant but uh, it's uh, been great here's a cluster one two three four five fruits already taken off there's another five and another five getting ready to go so nice clusters maintain the suckers and top things off at surface and you'd be in good shape uh, I guess the last thing to note is that uh, for each of these tower levels originally in the bottom one I put uh, there's about six or seven tomato plants I think that's too many because all they have access to is what's in that ring so subsequently I put in two two or maximum three tomatoes in that in in a level and uh, that's worked much better the upper level there's one and uh, let me see here I think there's maybe just one at this level if you see how thick it is and it's gone you can see it up there and that's the split that we looked at before and it's going up right up to the ceiling so that's it uh, <clears throat> it's been in six months it's been fruiting for three months and it's been pretty continuous fruiting for you know for three months and uh, the amount of fruit I take up every week is increasing and uh, you know, I'm still getting new suckers like this is the down at the base level you can see there's you can see inside there at the bottom those are the original plants I'm still getting new suckers right near the uh, very beginning where I've taken leaves off see way down in there and uh, these are other suckers here that are growing up they'll be starting to flower and fruit shortly and uh, you know this thing goes here's a sucker here it goes up terminates there and uh, 
this other one comes up and then I wrapped it on the uh, on the tower or, uh, on the uh, on the green stock frame and there's a split and that one goes up uh, about four feet with fruit on it you can see the wrap and you can see new baby suckers coming months after the leaves are cut off they're suckers and all these things that are flowering right now that I just showed you those are from suckers from uh, that original plant so works well combination of uh, green stock rings and my vertical extensions and I've got a literal tower of solid tomatoes wider than the rings and going right up to eight feet to the ceiling. Keep on growing.